Here's a picture from the National Transportation Safety Board of the area around the Olympic failure. So what happened in this case, there was a water station, and the water station was having some work done around it. They were putting in some new lines, water lines and that sort of thing, and Olympic pipeline ran through that area. The, when they first started this work, the they being the contractor working for the water company, they met with Olympic. Olympic was out and inspected during the time this work was going on, and the work was finished. And then at some point, shortly after the work was finished, Apparently there was a valve that was put in that was misaligned or needed some work. I don't, I don't know if it was leaking or what happened, but needed to be worked on. So the contractor came back to realign that valve. During the time when the contractor was working on realigning the valve, the contractor hit Olympic pipeline and created a gouge, or actually several gouges in Olympic pipeline. If you read the National Transportation Safety Board report, it says that there was another person there, an electrician not working for the same contractor that said they heard the pipeline being hit and they heard the operators talking about it and apparently what happened was the operators decided it wasn't bad enough and they put some mastic on, covered it up and didn't report that they had hit the line. If you look at National Transportation Safety Board reports, often it says things like a contributing factor may have been. That's not what it said in its conclusion for the Olympic pipeline accident. What it said in the conclusion for Olympic pipeline accident was one of the causes was the pipeline being hit by the contractor working on that pipeline.